Let's make this quick. If you had silhouettes of, you know, simple silhouettes of all characters from film history, and you went around the world and, and you tried, you showed people around the world, and every time they didn't recognize one, you had to throw it away. I feel the two you'd be left with at the end is like Mickey Mouse and Godzilla. He's like the dinosaur we wish existed but didn't. He's kind of like the ultimate dinosaur in some ways. Um, and there's a human humanity to him. Like, you can relate to him. It feels, it feels, there's a sort of, like a giant pet of some sort. Like there's something emotive, I think, about him. It's not, he's not too animalistic that you, you can't have that connection. As a filmmaker, if you want it to be a personal movie, that doesn't mean it's a selfish thing. It just means that you want to feel that connection so that when everyone else sits in the theater and watches the movie, they also have that connection to the screen. I'm very lucky that the studio on this film um, gave me a lot of freedom and really like got excited about everything that we were doing and so they encouraged it even more and, and uh, I kept waiting for someone to say no and say you can't do that and it never really came. <laughs> My director of photography who's the cameraman on the film He's done a lot of these big blockbusters, and I used to keep saying to him, "Is like, is this normal? Is, is, is what we're doing? Is this how they all work?" He's like, "No." He's like, "I've never worked on a film like this where they've been so supportive and given us so much freedom. Like, it was it was a pretty unique process, I think." cinemas.